Introduce my yourself. Is, my name is Robert Powell. I went to a Hyundai dealership last night, dropped in one, and this was a nightmare. In fact, this guy was barely north of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I pull up, when this Hyundai dealership, they got a covered area over the front with a few cars out there, almost like a showroom, but it's not a showroom. I pull up in the customer parking spot. It's pulled right up front in a customer service parking spot. Walk up on that platform. I'm looking at these cars, and I, in all fairness to the other salespeople there, but there was a couple of them that were busy over on this end of the building. I'm walking around these cars. I get over to this other car, and this guy is standing there smoking a cigarette. Underneath that cup, right there where, you know, where the public's coming in and everything, he never put that cigarette out the whole time I was there until we went inside. I made him go inside. <laughs> but he never... Well, you you know if you, if you're and like I'm not a smoker, you know, and I and I can't stand cigarette yeah. smoke. So if if I'm a customer and and you're smoking right there in front of me, I mean that's that's bad news right there. Yeah, and right there at the front like that, it don't put Very. out when somebody approaches you. I approached him. He never gave me his name. He never. Wow. And when I found out his name was towards the end when I got a business card from him, and when I first asked him for a card, he didn't have one in his pocket. He right. Goes, well, I'll have to get you one. I don't have one. And More he never that. mentioned going to get that card or going. And I asked him again. I said, I need that card. So we went in to get that card. <clears throat> I asked him about literature. I mean, I tried to pry him. I would talk about <laughs> prices. I'd, I'd say, you know, how firm are you on these ticket prices? Well, we do upfront pricing at this dealership. And what I suggest you do is go on the internet on our website. Oh, wow. And when we went inside, he pulled it on the Mm -hmm. Screen to show me, and on their website, they got everything in stock and what that price is. And he said, That's what I suggest you do right there, that's the best way. Mm -hmm. And I asked him about brochures, he said, We don't have any brochures. He said, but I can give you this. He gives me this motor train that oh, <laughs> ranks the safety on the top 10 cars. And the one he opens up and points out to is the Elantra, which I never even talked about the Elantra <laughs> the whole time I was there. That's the number one rated car, and that's what he gives me. He says, We don't have any literature there again on that website you can pull up everything on the cars I mean, it was a joke it was and i mean i would sit there wow. and even pry trying to get him to open up right about the prices uh, he never asked about finance i went in there and i told him i was there to buy a car for my son that i bought cars for all my kids never even said anything about how many kids do you got i mean you know nothing right and i said i bought them for him that's no lie i bought them for him and that's why I dropped in the Hyundai. My son was looking at a cilantro. He's getting ready to go to college next year, and we're going to buy him a car, and that's what he wanted. And so I was going to kill two birds with one stone, which I'd never seen him. Amazing. <laughs> you know, and I went in there, and he did, he never he never volunteered to unlock a car. He never. We never left that platform. I started to walk off, and he would follow me, like, to the end cars, but then we never went off that platform at all. There's only, like, I think there was a total of four cars out there on that platform. Yeah. And one of them was a 65,000. Y'all know Monday's got a 65,000 dollar car. No. I mean, there may as well be a self checkout there. I mean, because, yeah. I mean, he's. Well, he, he remind, that's what I was getting raised. He reminds me of an order tape. <laughs> yeah. That's what he reminds me of. You know, you go in there and say, okay, this is what I want, he'll write it up. That's what he. That's I'm what not he so sure he can even do that. Even if you said, you know, well, here's the car. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it, it sounds like everything there is self serve. And, and you were, it sounded like you were an inconvenience. Yeah. And he, I mean, he didn't have a name badge on. So he didn't tell me his name, and of course I couldn't look at it or anything. When I found out is when I was leaving and I looked at that card. That's when yeah. I found out. The first thing you have to do is sell you. Before you sell anything, you, you, and you. And people, in, people got to be comfortable with you to make, well, like somebody said, that big of a purchase, you know. Yeah. I mean, when we sold houses, I mean, it's one of the biggest purchases you make. you got to sell yourself. Absolutely. You know? I mean, make people feel comfortable. Okay. But you, you had no idea it was going to be that bad. I was, I felt awkward. Yeah. I, I mean, all the years in real estate business, I've never felt all, all the years buying. I mean, I bought a lot of cars, and after this class yesterday, I know I've had some bad people, but <laughs> I bought a lot of cars. I mean, I've had over 25 cars between the kids and us. And, right. You know, I mean, company trucks. I mean, it just, I felt awkward. I felt yeah. like really awkward. Well, that's, that's your competition. That's what you're up against. And just after one day of training, um, your confidence level has got to be, yeah. So, so now without a doubt, because that's that's what's what you're up against. That is your competition.
keep people like that around. Well, you know what? That person is a reflection in the sales manager. Yeah, the whole thing. He was probably on that same platform smoking a cigarette too. All goes around in that team effort. One person yeah. succeeds, everybody succeeds. Yeah, because you never met him, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly it. Well, I'm glad you learned. Uh, round of applause.